In honor of Black History Month, we're shining a spotlight on black voices in Bend. Ariel Brumfield spoke to a Bend artist about his art and activism. As we celebrate Black History Month, we recognize and honor black figures in our community who are trailblazers affecting change. Today we spotlight Jason Graham, a Bend man who uses art as a form of activism. Art can become the object of the debate and the disagreement and the discourse and the denial and the divinity and all these other things. Radically inclusive are the two words Bend artist Jason Graham uses to describe his impact. Get up and realize what you epitomize may contradict what you're called to resist. Wake Graham to uses the mediums of music, life, painting, and spoken to word to bridge a relationship between activism and art. Pushing his audience to engage in uncomfortable conversations about race and inequalities and their personal experiences here in Central Oregon. You can, you can direct all that you're feeling as an opinion at the artwork. Graham, who moved from Chicago to Bend in 1992, told me he's seen a shift in Central Oregon after the death of George Floyd, the protests and civil unrest, and growth of the Black Lives Matter movement. We're able to talk about it out loud. And he says not only are people now talking and thinking critically about racism, activism has become more community oriented. This community has increased its, its ability to not only acknowledge that it's happening. For a long time, we've known whether or not we want to admit to it. Now, the, the admission part, or the admitting to, I should say, is relatively new. That then they are forced to reconcile their humanity with someone else's humanity. Let me see exactly how different are we really. We sat in front of Graham's artwork in the Scale House Gallery in downtown Bend. He describes this piece of art created with paint, charcoal, and other mediums as an exploration of being confrontational and inclusive, an expression of figuring out how to hide in plain sight, something he says black people are all too familiar with. Just a mile away under the breezeway, you'll find another one of Graham's artwork, and for Graham, it represents our connection to our ancestors and those who came before us. He recognizes that art can be interpreted broadly, but ultimately his goal is to encourage you to affect change. Qualities, what, what should they take away? What are you trying to incite in them? I'm trying to get folks to see just how accessible something like revolution is, how um, constructive and creative it can be, but to have a life without revolution is to be dead before you're dead. And so I think it is very important for folks to find what in their own personal lives are acts of revolution. In Bend, Ariel Brumfield, News Channel 21.